thinking industrial carpet cleaner. You want to know why? Because the only way to ensure Summer gets enough exercise is to get everyone out and encourage him to be part of the flock. So there he is. And you might have noticed something different about him today. So when I came in this morning to feed him, I found his brace on the floor. And I was thinking, well, that's unusual. And he got up and he jumped out and he ran around <laughs> and he's walking. I can't believe how many birds are walking around this room. <laughs> I feel sorry for the carpet, but it's it's a close pile, so yeah. we can clean this off. So I'm well, get industrial this was a very cheap carpet anyway, yeah. one that you know was for an art yeah. studio, but and that we you know. will give it a really thick industrial clean. Yeah, it'll be clean. thorough. Yeah, and uh, yeah, um, Honey's on her way out soon. She'll be with the other hens. Hello, Honey. Um, storm. Storm Cloud and Storm, Storm Cloud and Charlie have, thought, have a little way to go. Yeah. Hey Charlie. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what to call her. Rainstorm or rain or I don't. Rain. I think rain's lovely. Yeah, I think rain suits for dark bird. Hi. Oh my God, look at you. Look at you. Hello Bean. bean. Got Hi a bit Bean. Of tape stuck to her. Yeah. Oh, she's following her brother. So we've left the eggshell out because they are actually eating it. And we've also got some nutritional yeast. Yes. So this was Kate's idea. It's a brilliant idea. You can't use baking yeast. It has to be this nutritional stuff. Um, oftentimes it's used in vegan cooking just to get the protein and the B vitamins. In fact, we should really be taking it. Yeah, I think we might. And it's a super strong hit of B, uh, B6, B17, B12, B12 and niacin. And yeah. niacin is absolutely crucial to ducks because if they don't get it, they get a form of rickets and they basically lose the ability to walk and they'll yeah. starve to death. Um, so we're hoping that this little fuzzy butt here, he'll be joining all of these ducklings today and he doesn't even know it. I mean, his legs are certainly working better. They're slightly spraddled, but I mean, he's able to run, he's able to walk. Um, the fact he's able to eat and drink, that he, is the yeah, main thing. Yeah, he's able to fend for himself no now, longer, which is great. His head used to sit right here between his wings. Yeah. He's now looking forward, you can see where he's going. He's, he he's walking food. forward, he's no longer walking backwards. This is such a, a dramatic breakthrough. Like, you know, we wished for this for Charlie, our very first chick, but it never happened. You know, that chick was way he too weak. but um, severe right neck though, Kate. Yeah, it was overly severe, whereas this one... It, Luckily, we caught it in time, uh, literally the day one, didn't we? Yes. Hi, Summer. Yay. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> anyway, I will leave you with this absolute chaos. chaos carnage. Absolute carnage. And hello, chickens. Yes. We'll do a video of each of you, I think. Yeah. We're a little bit worried about the leghorn. She's sleeping a lot. She's very lethargic. She's had some very strange poos, but she's eating, she's drinking. Yeah. And we've given her a hit of vitamins, so fingers crossed. We're thinking it could be stress because of where she came from. Mm. Um, there were just too many birds in a very small there space. There was a crush, wasn't there, the night They'd before? They'd had a smothering the night before, um, and she could have been in that and just she shot She could out have been. There. Yeah, I think she maybe barely survived by the looks yeah. of her, so uh, yeah. Always us, isn't it? With the Always us. Birds. Yep. Animal Hospital. <laughs>